You all come back to the program. This is News Desk. Now let's get into issues around the uh, fire at the, term, the central drug store belonging to the Ministry of Health. Now, don't forget that this store provides 80% of all the medicines in this country. We have lost the structure. We have lost the medicines. And now it's time for recovery. But earlier today, I spoke with Prince Billy Anaglati of the Ghana National Fire Service, who told me that they had to stay at the fire scene to make sure that no fresh sparks were recorded. A lot more in my conversation with Billy right now. What have you found out so far? Well, the, we, we are still on the ground. We are, we are trying to ensure that um, everything is totally extinguished. We have not uh, been able to achieve that now, but mm. that is what we are doing. Um, we are hoping maybe uh, today we will be able to totally establish everything where uh, our investigation that has been initiated will also continue to uh, find out what exactly might have uh, caused this fire. Mm. You, you tell us you're still on the ground trying to extinguish where you can. Does not mean the fire is still, is still on? Yes, the fire is not totally extinguished. Um, uh, it, it is not anything that anybody should be surprised of because uh, we are handling a fire that has various classes uh, brought together. And especially when uh, you are talking of hydrocarbon fires where chemicals uh, are, are involved and uh, their reactions are different in, and uh, it is not anything that... Um, that could easily be extinguished, but we will we, be able to actually uh, get to uh, where we think that nobody should be so much concerned because it will not even threaten any property. But uh, we're hoping uh, it will not take too long a uh, time for now to we'll totally extinguish it. Mm, I see. Now, th there have been calls for persons to evacuate the area because then uh, the chemicals could be. The, the burnt chemicals could be poisonous if, if anybody inhaled it. What is it that the, the fire service is seeing from, from that angle? Well, that has been our concern as well. Uh, nobody was able to tell us the, the exact chemicals that have been stored in this warehouse, whether they are poisonous, whether whatever they are. Um, our, our, our concern during the fire was to ensure that the fire do not even uh, destroy all other properties within the area. That was exactly what we were doing. But uh, we are hoping that the, 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 the people that, that, that matter in this, people that are working in this, uh, during our interrogation, uh, they should be able to tell us what it is. So if it is poisonous, as people are alleging, uh, we have work with it there were a lot of thick smoke that was that, that was actually you know uh, coming out of this uh, 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 debris that we were fighting and we were in it we were trying everything possible to ensure that we are extinguish it we are only praying that it should not be that poisonous that uh, have it has been alleged because we mm. a lot of us has really inhaled uh, that uh, right uh, smoke. now B yeah. billy speaking of interrogation uh, we also understand that arson could be the possible cause of this fire uh, per your investigation what would you say about that well um, we we actually do not work on uh, suspicion do but every fire scene is taken to be a crime scene um, that is why we investigate every no, aspect No, but, but so far, what, what has your investigation proven? Is it in the direction of an arson? Well, that, that one, uh, the technical people are on the ground, and we will not be able to say anything immediately until we are able to settle on something. But so I, are you able to tell... Are you able to tell from your uh, primary investigations that indeed uh, a, a possible cause for the fire? Whether if I should say something, I might be taking the win out of the steel. So uh, if, if they are all uh, uh, issues. Uh, so not as to be it stands, the us. national, the Ghana National Fire Service does not know what could have caused the fire at the store. Whether, whether there, there is a, 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 a point, something pointing to the, something for now, until it is concluded, we will not say anything. Because um, if we begin to say something now, no, no, 
Billy, I, I address my question directly. Forget about the arson. As it stands now, the Ghana National Fire Service is unable to say it does not know the cause, the possible causes of the fire or what could have started the fire. There are several possible causes of this fire, mm. but I'm saying that until the, the investigation is concluded. What are some of the possibilities that... you have come up with so far? Well, that, they, they are still part of our investigation, so we will not say anything about that. Uh, that, 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 that that's fine. Uh, hopefully, in the future, you'll be able to share uh, those with us. But you tell us that you, you, you're still there, trying to extinguish the fire. Do we have enough uh, materials to be able to do that? Yes, uh, our, our biggest problem, as we are talking now, if we talk of uh, uh, materials to do that, it is, it is about water availability of enough water to do this um that is that is why we are still moving our tankers up and down uh to to replenish and come back um i stated it uh, that uh, the hydrants that were located within the premises where the fire has gotten if actually water was passing through these hydrants uh, the situation would have been different better than it is now um, so what we we are also now saying that has been the biggest challenge for now that we are talking it's just the availability of water, How, and that is why and, we and, are and that's, our and that's really is paramount to extinguishing this fire to 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 the to the point where we can actually say it is done. So, how are you dealing with it? You see, um, there have been a lot of uh, 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 debris that are actually covering uh, the burning substance. Uh, we are also hoping this morning. If it will be possible, we will have to uh, uh, ensure that we, we get uh, a, a, a tool or a vehicle that will even get into the debris and try to uh, uh, you know, move some of the debris off the position that they are, that we will be able to so, see the but do, do you have but, this vehicle that will go into the debris and then make sure that you are getting to the flames and, and dousing it? Fire service do not have this particular uh, vehicle that I'm talking about. But it is not uh, every tool that we work with that the fire service is having. But we are organizing, we'll be able to have at least excavators that will get in and, and excavate. There's that point where we really want to get uh, beneath uh, the burning substance. So you have found an alternative to that. How about the water situation? The fact that you don't have readily available water, how is the fire service dealing with it? Yeah, you, 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 you understand that because of the um, uh, water situation, we have even marshaled and uh, even private tankers, apart from our own tankers that we were using. There were a lot of private tankers that we have marshaled and they are assisting us in doing this. And then they were going in for water and then assisting us with the water situation that we need. Mm, I see. And, and, and as of now, they are giving you good service. Again. I'm asking if the service that is being offered by these water, private water tankers is good enough to quench the fire or to, to extinguish the fire? Yeah, exactly. They are doing well. We, do, uh, we appreciate all that the private tankers have been with us throughout the night and they, they are still with us here and they are assisting us. Uh, so they are doing a lot to assist us in fighting this fire. Commander Chen Chen Hene Boateng is on the ground for us. He's joined us over the telephone with some fresh updates. Hello, Kabna. Kemini. What have you gathered so far? Well, uh, since arriving, uh, the fire is still burning, but not as severely as it was uh, last night. The fire has gone down significantly. Uh, we just have pockets of uh, the building which is all engulfed in fire, uh, not so much so that it becomes such a, a, a big problem, particularly when you get to the, the right-hand side of the building. Uh, that was where it was actually dense. It was really dense yesterday, as of yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. But that particular side has been managed very well. Uh, we are told the fire almost spread to the mechanical uh, division, the uh, uh, workshop of uh, the, the ministry as well, the ministry of uh, But that particular one was also put out. We are told that was in the wee hours uh, of of last night, very deep in the night or so. We're told the Ghana National Fire Service stayed through the night uh, 
together with the police and a few other officials. You, you said the fire, is, the fire almost spread to me the mechanical yeah. department of, of which company? Of, of the Ministry of Health. There's a mechanical workshop mm. with an adjoining piece to the main uh, central, uh, uh, central medical stores. There's an adjoining piece to it. Uh, it just has a, uh, just a small wall. There's an adjoining piece to it, but that particular mm -hmm. uh, part is safe now. We so they almost spread there, but they managed to put it out. But uh, we've been here, we've been uh, interacting. We are told the interior minister is on his way. He should be here any moment from mm -hmm. now. We are waiting for him. Uh, we've been joined also by, uh, I've actually had an interaction with the Tema Divisional Regional Police Commander, and uh, she's also given some interesting perspectives. What, what did she Tema. tell you? Well, what, all she's saying is that the investigations are ongoing. They are. They've got quite a number of, uh, they've got some information, quite, quite okay, well, uh, I think, uh, he, okay, well, uh, some cars are coming in now. If you heard the siren, it's mm -hmm. blaring. Uh, these are some vehicles, I'm supposing they are from the minister. You think I, you think it could be I, the I, minister I, of the it interior? It could be the minister, it could be the minister. Uh, I've, I've seen, uh, okay, let me come this way. I've seen, I've seen Mr. Yilich, uh, uh, he was with, he was the former health minister. He's also the chairman of the parliamentary mm -hmm. Select committee on health, and we've actually spoken to him. I'm sure you have those visuals now. Wh uh, what have time. what have all these people been saying? Well, um, the minister has been uh, speaking, and all he's been saying is that uh, he thinks it's high time we actually uh, uh, took a second look at this part. Okay, indeed, the minister is in. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Owen Oyongo, Mark Owen Oyongo, the interior minister, is there. He just arrived on the premises. Uh, in the accompaniment of quite a number of government officials, they are all here. I'm hoping we could do a quick phone interview, uh, a quick one, so that, okay, he's yet to... He's been briefed currently, as I speak, he's been briefed on the current situation, and mm -hmm. we'll be taking a tour of the place in the next few minutes, I suppose. I'm hoping we can get you those live visuals pretty shortly, but even before we start sending you those images, and before he's conducted around the permit, I'm hoping we could just uh, speak to him at the just, just about the word to... Okay. From the street, okay. Right, Kwabna Chenche is at the central, what used to be the central drug store belonging to the Ministry of Health. He tells us that indeed uh, the Ministry of the Interior, Marco Owen Wuyungu, has arrived the pri uh, prior to his arrival. There was a former Minister of Health, Yili Tre, and also he's, he tells us that the Ghana National Fire Service is still at the scene of the fire, trying to extinguish what is left of the building and, and, and the properties within it. He tells us that uh, they're, they're doing all they can to douse the flames to make sure there are no fresh sparks. Well, now, yes, what, what, yes, what we'll be doing, we're going to bring you those live visuals from there in a bit. But that's it for the year. Thank you very much for your company. Goodbye.